earlier today, turning things around against Entz. It was back and forth, hot and cold. Adren going to deploy his smoke just to stall a little while longer, but the green button has been pushed, and we are all systems go. Grand Faction survives longer than anticipated, and now JKS able to get his hands on a kill. Adren is the player that falls. JKS point blank range going to come out second best against Nico, but Renegades are at least turning up the heat. They have the bomb towards the, the site. I don't think they've got it planted, though. Lias came off the plant. He saw Rain. Rain pulled him off it. They know they need to get a couple more kills to be able to plant this bomb safely, but they're just being chipped away. Gratis Faction, he has to get aggressive in that scenario. Puts him in an awkward fight, and there's Guardian for the final kill. Faye's gonna take that pistol. That was the big crux of this defense. Tossed in. Gonna give some map presence in mid. Faye's okay to give this one up for the time being. Grenade goes out, barely does any damage, and Guardian is gonna be pressed. UMP in hand alongside Nico's for mass. They're going to hold on. No, they don't. It's a two for two trade. That's going to favor Renegades because now they can wrap around and Adren's in real trouble. Very important. He takes down Liaz. Now he can focus attention towards the CT side. But it is an MP9 at range that's going to struggle somewhat, especially considering with this force, Renegades have armor on both these remaining players. Adren played that as well as he could. Had to choose to get aggressive towards Banana. He knew the numbers that were in CT spawn, able to eliminate one. Plant going down is not a huge deal because Renegades invested so much into this. That smoke is going to be tough for them to deal with, though. They're both on this side. Gratis Faction coming over for the boost. Over the smoke. Maybe something unexpected that FaZe is not ready for. No one's watching for it. Here's the jump up. Olaf's going to get spammed. And now FaZe is in a tough spot. A trend goes down as well. A good trade from Rain. But the second player, Gratis Faction, his mobility has won him this round. He's rotated all the way around, and he is going to go down with the ball, but he's going to find Rain as well. What a response from Renegades. What a round from Aggressive awesome. for information. There's his last smoke use, and actually Renegades going to have to come through this. This could be massive for Rain. They're going to boost over it. He didn't spot the gun barrel. Also, he has now, I believe, maybe not actually. Guardian's going to provide him some cover from the other side of mid. This could be a slaughter. Rain, what a good job he's done. Remains undetected. And a triple kill. Crossfire snapping the round shut with FaZe drawing a C. But let's see if any entries can come by, though. That smoke very intelligently parts the ways. And how are Renegades getting these entries? It's down to Guardian. Spraying through the smoke does connect. And that should be the round done now. Jacob can't feasibly stop this. He cannot get to the bomb and plant in time. He's just going to try and save his AK. Yeah, but they're going to hunt him down. You have to imagine after the timer, they're now encroaching the position. Nico from above. A lot of extended time here at the Major. That's a big kill. No bonus money at the end. AK is what seems like forever. At least three or four rounds. But here's the play with a flashbang. Adren completely blinded. I believe there's a counter flash. Tossed in from the terrorist. Lias is going to double up with two. And they're just going to make a straight up run to B. They're still going to have to check all their angles. There could be a third play over here as far as they're concerned, but soon they're going to find out that's not the case. And this is going to be a very tough retake for FaZe. That's the second time we've seen a Dren turn the corner just before a flashbang goes off, so he's mistiming those peaks a little bit, and it's actually ended up costing him his life a couple times as he's being blinded by what looks, I believe, to be his own teammate's flash. That's a very, very aggressive defense at top banana for phase when the three teammates are both are all three playing in the lane over at a the farthest rotation that they could possibly have so he drops it to delay the mid portion of this attack and it's extremely delayed they do have pit control they haven't been able to find any entries into the bomb site guardian has found one but jks counteracts Headshot delivered with the ak rain up close and boiler gonna get the better of Azza, who turned it back unfortunate timing for renegades and although they have pit control, they haven't made the trek across to the site yet. So now Rain is using these smokes to his advantage. Finally, Gratis Faction gets the upper hand. Looking to spray across the site. Olaf Meister is going to break his deadlock by picking up a kill. And sub 30 seconds remain. Renegades still need to find a way onto the site. They still haven't got this bomb planted. And JKS, who's been in pit for quite some time now, has to try and pull off a 1v3 clutch. But with the bomb in such a precarious position, there's no reason for FaZe to move. There's the first, though. Now they may be forced out into the open. JKS going in for a second, but there is the man in question, Adren. The stand-in gets his second of the round and phase their fit. We've only seen a couple of uh, aggressive plays. Adren this time, that flashback is spot on. He's done so much damage and two kills make it three. Go his way. Pop flash to perfection. 
And that passage of play may have just sealed up the round for FaZe. They set that play up, or they've tried to execute it a number of times, and this was actually, obviously, the most impactful. That's perfect from Nico, but you also have to say, mistake on the Renegade side, not a single player of the five that are at top banana playing anti-flash. They're punished for that. Guardian's gonna miss his shot. Forced to play passive as he's been tagged down to 11. He's to have Nico. And the back of the bomb site still alive. 40 seconds left on the clock, and he can chew a lot of his time off of it. Simply by hiding with his positioning. No smokes on these Renegades players as well, so they're gonna have a three-pronged attack as they enter in here. There's so many different choke points, so many different spots in the bomb site that they can be hit from, and this is a losing effort. JKS, again, in a situation we've seen it I think this is the third time now in this half where Renegades players at the end can only be fighting to cause damage. After a timeout too, just to add salt in the wounds, his day is numbered, needs to die before the time runs out, and he will be successful in that endeavor. Sometimes against, on the right side this time, and Renegades, one of the better opportunities they've had in rifle rounds. They get the opening pick, make it two, Guardian. Flirting with danger for far too long with no backup. Rain, who has been pretty slick today, on 14 and 6, over 100 ADR, has to turn tail and run. He's the last beacon, the last line of defense on A, with so many angles to watch out for. And there's a very slow rotation as well from Nico and Olofmeister. This call from Renegades is great. Just get in front of the smoke. Jacob's looking for it. Great trade from Dr uh, Gratis Faction, and there goes Olofmeister as well. Nico's tagged down, they know his location, they're going to take all the guns away from FaZe. Aza certainly has him locked in the library. It's a swift end, there's your fifth. Renegades are out of options, they've got to be quick, they've got to be concise with their commitment. And they've realized, okay, we can't go B, let's go back to A again, but there's three players stacked on the site. This could be a massacre, this could be a disaster. Ten seconds now, a Guardian is going to claim the first kill, and it's going to be every bit the disaster that I was anticipating. Guardian flicks across the head of JKS. He can't get Lias, but Lias doesn't have time. This round is going to slip away from Renegades. Beaten by indecision, they wanted to make that different Renegades, and we'll see if they can close it out in the second half. They had a great T side, six rounds for them. Oh, and they're gonna they're gonna get aggressive. This is bold, pushing down mid. Well, give them credit for the aggression. Will it work out for them? So far, so good. Nico's been found by Gratis Faction or Offmeister, just trying desperately to hide. I don't know if Nico expect expected them to be that aggressive. And now, unfortunately, with Olaf Meister there, maybe Nico thought Olaf would actually get into the action. Somewhat great kill from Guardian. Looking to bide his time. Rain waiting for Aza, and that's gotta be frustrating. He was looking for a cleaner fight. Where's the peak from Olaf? That could change this whole round. Liaz completely blind. Nicely done from FaZe handling the pressure. Even losing Nico early on, and they've recovered. Olaf proving that patience certainly is a virtue in that case, giving the Firm advantage to FaZe Clan now making a straight up dart towards the B side. Jacob is going to be laid in wait using the close angle. Does a bit of chip damage to both the Dren and Olofmeister, but it's been smoked out. Going to look for the boost, but they've already read it. Olofmeister perforates the smoke, pierces into the head of JKS and FaZe Clan pick up both pistols. They want to get fast and aggressive though. Four SMGs, Jacob, perfect flashbang. Yields the kills onto Olaf Meister and Guardian, but Nico is at least there to stand tall and deliver the fatal blow back. But Renegades do have the advantage, unable to retrieve any of those guns that have been taken down. That was a really cool setup from Renegades at the B-bomb site. One player getting ready to peek down. They actually had a second player we saw from that POV throwing a nade deep in towards Banana, and they had a third player inside the site who threw a flashbang. That's why you saw both nade damage coming out, obscuring vision, and a flashbang as the extra cherry on top. Well-constructed second round from Renegades gives them a man advantage. Actually, it gives them a bunch of utility as well. Smoke's still on Gratis Faction and Liaz, but they're both over at the A-bomb site. Yeah, it's only a flashbang to use on the B side at the moment for Renegades, and they're gonna have to use that carefully. Pick the perfect time, because Molotov smokes Everywhere Azza runs, there's a fire to greet him, but there's a one-tap from JKS looking for a second. Azza had to run out in the open, otherwise he'd have burnt to a crispy burnt anyway, actually. And can JKS hold the line? So far, he's doing a phenomenal job. Adren is the only player left alive, just under half health. 
and he has to try and run back towards the A side, but Lias is waiting here. It's only a matter of time, and Renegades have done it again. Lightning has struck twice. Right. Lose him the round if he drops the bomb in a horrible spot here. Lots of flash has been depleted. Granis Faction chips in with an off-kill, make it two. He's in a double up, trying to connect the dots, gets a third. Whips out the P250 and takes the head. Almost clean off Nico's shoulders. Only nine HP remains, so a phenomenal round by Granis Faction. And now Nico realizing that in exchanging, he probably loses. Gonna pick up the open instead and see if he can get the one hit potential in his way. Gonna peek back again. There is a smoke though. It's gonna make it that much harder. But now they're starting to peek round. This is why he's picked up the AWP. Can Nico pull off a huge clutch? It'll be heartbreaking for the Renegades after the start they had in this round, but he goes down. I think it's, maybe his barrel stuck through the smoke and betrayed him. But either way, JK and Gratis Faction. See the idea? Gratis Faction goes in for a shot, tries to bait them into Azza. Misses out on the kill, but does connect on Rain, and that is the bait. And this time Nico is caught, and this time the bomb is dropped in a horrible spot. That's the second time Nico's kind of pressured that corner with the bomb, and this time he's punished for it. Wasn't previously. But if you're Renegade, you gotta be so happy. Guardian spotted that, but he goes down through the smoke. Rain is up next. 25 HP. It would take very little to find him. A fourth player rotating here for Renegades. There is nothing FaZe can do about this. Bang is almost the best nade to have because it really stymies and stalls this push up on the quad side. You can ping it off the door into the eyes of all the oncoming terrorists and now they're walking into the trap. Gratis Faction with his P250 peaks one too many times but as a, has a crossfire with Liaz and the time is so low. This is over ladies and gentlemen. This round is going to Renegades. FaZe Clan turning up the heat, turning up the pace. Molotovs and flashbangs being distributed. It's going to be a wraparound on the arch side. Liaz isn't able to do anything, and neither is Azza. This is much better from FaZe Clan, looking far more clinical in the dying embers of this map. They are going to be able to get another round on the board, and Jacob and JKS, sure there's a bunch of money, but we know how quickly that'll dwindle on the CT side. They're just going to make this a little bit of a weaker defense towards lane. Here we go, Vince. Liaz flashed out, been tagged up a bunch, but Gratis Faction holds on. The CZ is delivering damage. Here comes Liaz, nearly line up for two, but Guardian somehow, someway. Close range dispatches of Azza. They're going to be able to get the bomb, and that was such an important kill with only 10 seconds left. JKS going to wait for this smoke to clear alongside Jacob. They've got to go for it. And although Olaf is low, Guardian has gone down. This is very possible now for Renegades. They've got themselves two kits as well. And plenty of firepower there for Mastin and Orc. Olaf goes peeking a couple of times, does a bit of damage, but nothing significant. It's not going to stop Renegades from pushing, but they're both together. They're clumped up. It's going to be a one-dimensional retake. And they need to get some damage on right now. It's going to be going down. It's all on Olaf Meister. He's had a rough map, but he has to stand tall, and he can't deliver. Renegades...